Thank you for joining us for the Fluid Management Technologies tutorial on the SmartField Gen 2 Pro version of the website, which includes reports and the ability to email tank levels. This video will show how to create, schedule and export each of the reports. The reports allow comprehensive, targeted reporting not available with the standard website. We will also show how to set up the emails for tank levels. Once subscribed to Pro Reports, you will have access to the Pro Reports subcategory on the Transactions page of your FMT data website. The Pro Reports are located on the left side of the page under the Pro Reports heading. The four Pro Reports are Totals, Reconciliation, Service, and Consumption. The Totals Report allows you to make reports that show the accumulated totals of one person or a specific data set. Clicking on Totals will take you to the Totals Report page, which has links to all previously saved reports by name and a Create New Report link. Existing reports may be exported, edited or deleted by clicking the menu arrow next to the report name. To create a new report, click on Create New Report. First decide how the data will be sorted by selecting the Sort criteria from the Totals By and Then By drop-down menus. We will sort this report by Vehicle User Field. Select the date range just as you would with the normal transaction report, then click on the Add Filter button. The filters are there to restrict what totals are shown and what volumes are added to the totals. In this case, I only want to show totals for a specific truck, so I use the description filter and select the vehicle to report on. The controller would like this report exported every week, so in the scheduling section, we enable scheduling, set the schedule to weekly, and enter the email address of the controller. Then give the report a distinctive name like yellow truck and click the save button. Remember to set the export type that you want. You can do this one of two ways, by either clicking the export type while creating it, or by editing the report later and saving it. To edit the report, click on the arrow next to the report you want to edit and click Edit. To change the export type, go to the bottom of the report view screen and change it to the export type you want. The reconciliation report compares the sum of all deliveries and transactions to the difference between the starting and ending dip calculation for the time period specified. There must be a dip for the start and end date. This may be via tank gauging, completed with fluid management technology smart dip system, or by manual dips which are entered onto the website. The opening dip plus deliveries minus transactions equals calculated dip. The difference between the calculated dip and closing dip is the variance for the report time frame. For service reports, you will need to have vehicles and plant items with odometer hours, service interval, and last service fields containing valid data. For each vehicle, you will need only odometer fields or only hours fields, but you can have a mixture of the two between different vehicles. Click on Create New Report and just click on View at the bottom. This will show all vehicles that are overdue for service or who are coming up to be due a service. Vehicles that are due a service are those whose current odometer reading is greater than the last service odometer plus the service interval. Vehicles which have an upcoming service have their current odometer reading within 10% of the service interval of this total. Check the Enable checkbox. Set the frequency to weekly, add your email address and save the report with an appropriate name. Therefore, you will receive a weekly email with the service requirements and upcoming service requirement of your fleet. The consumption report shows the fuel consumption for each vehicle that is required to input odometer or hour readings when authorising a transaction. As with all the other reports, you have to specify a date range and beyond that. You can filter to show any subset of your vehicles that you wish. Note that you need at least two transactions for a single vehicle or plant over the reporting period to get a consumption figure. To export any report, click on the report you want exported and click the Export All Data button. It will export it in the format you saved it in. This report is saved as a CSV. 
Once exported, you can open it. Generally, a CSV file will open in Excel. Once opened, you can name and save the file in a location of your choice. If you wanted the report to export as a PDF, be sure to select PDF as the saving format. Go to the report. On the drop down menu, click Edit. It will then open the report so you can view and edit it. Next, click the PDF format and save. From this page, you can click Export. The PDF will open in a new window where you can save it and print. Another key feature of the Pro Version website is the ability to set email notifications for tank levels. Simply go to the Tank section of the website and click on Emails. Add the emails of the people who will receive the report and then go to Times and set the times when the report will be emailed. The email will contain the tank levels at the same time the email is sent. There must be a time set, otherwise the system will not send any emails. Thank you again for joining us for the Fluid Management Technologies tutorial on the Smartfield Gen 2 Pro website.